Welcome to part 5 and, and the final part of this series on matte painting basics. We're going to be doing a tidal wave that goes over the London Bridge. This image was, this tutorial was suggested or inspired on a, on a request suggestion that show somebody that showed me an image of the of this of this kind of scene that is actually not unique it's, there are several images around that that have actually the same same building same scene same same kind of effect of a tidal wave going over the london bridge but it was shown to me as an example of an awe-inspiring, fantastic matte painting, uh, and actually, it's actually, it looks very cool. But it's not difficult to do. It's very easy. Nothing, nothing really difficult about doing it. But at the same time, for a ba basic learning tool about matte painting, it's a, it's a good uh, subject. It's also lots of fun, so we're going to be learning how to combine some a couple of wave images. We're going to be creating a detailed mask of the bridge. We're going to be breaking up the detail with some nice included Photoshop brushes with some, some uh, adjustments to them. We're going to be painting detail and flow, and we're going to be finalizing the image with some of our adjustment layers, so it looks cooler. And that's about it. So this is going to take us 15 minutes or so, so start up Photoshop and let's get right to it. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to import this wave photo. Just copy and paste it into a new layer. And there we have it. Now we'll, we're going to position it a little bit. So it's at the level of the London Towers. And once we have that, we're going to be creating a mask revealing revealing the the bridge behind it we're going to use this this brush first to mask off the obvious the edges the square edges of this stock image and everything that we don't need for now at the top and right here at the bottom of the wave Of course, this is just some rough masking. We're going to be detailing further down the, the tutorial. For now, it was just masking, roughly masking off the obvious parts to make, to find the, the, the shape of the, of the wave that interests us. And we will be using that. A little bit of repositioning here. And once we have uh, all the all the obvious parts that we don't need masked off, we're gonna reduce the opacity a bit so we can see the bridge, the tower behind it. So we can start masking off the edges of the of the whole of the whole tower, the whole bridge. We're going to be using a small defined brush, this one right here, and just go about the, the edges of the tower, finding, masking, masking off all the, all the details so, so the towers can go through the, the wave layer. And this is there is no easy way to do this. You can uh, try and use the the pen the pen tool or or the polygonal lasso tool. But for for this 
I find it much easier and comfortable to just brush brush off starting on the edges and then going on to the to the the fill part of it but as you can see you just find the edges I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here because this process is long and we only have less than 30 minutes to do this tutorial so I need to speed this one up but you get the idea with this small brush if, if you need in some cases just reduce the size a little bit and just go about masking off all the structure of the bridge all these little pieces of metal of course we uh, since it's a, it's a mask we can always come back here and edit it and refine the edges something that we most probably be, will be doing I just changed the opacity a little bit here to see exactly where that shaded part was and just go about the whole the building as you can see I'm just finding the edges and once we have all the edges we can increase uh, our, sa our brush size quite a bit and mask off the rest it's not a, an official formula to remain in one size brush if you find you're in a, in a part of the bridge that needs a, a smaller brush just reduce the size and just find all those metal beams of the structure okay once we have it as you can see just increase the size mask off the rest that this is the easy part we found all the edge all around be sure to take your time doing this mask because we will be using this this mask on other layers just go about checking the, all the all the edges refining the mask a little bit and there we have it right here I just duplicated the 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 layer of the wave so we have a safe copy and I'm gonna reposition it a little bit and again with the soft brush I'm gonna work a little bit more on on the mask for the edges and reducing the size we're gonna be more precise on finding the elements of the wave we're gonna be keeping and masking off everything that we will won't be needing it's important process to see how it's how it's uh, looking and right now we're gonna import this other wave picture to complement the first one copy and paste it into a new layer and of course we have to resize it a little bit just scale it down we're gonna use it to cover the left portion of the of the space that was left from the from the other wave and we're gonna pull it on on top and using the mask the mask of the of the first layer we're just gonna duplicate that and and set it up as an as a mask for the new wave so we don't have to go working on the bridge edge again and now we're gonna mask the second wave so it combines nicely with the with the first wave masking off a little bit from the from this new wave to let the, the details of the first wave show through once we have this we're gonna be using this Photoshop standard brush 
and go, we're going to adjust shape dynamics, scattering and transfer, just in enabling the pen pressure. And this brush will, get, will give us an easy spray, ocean spray look for our mask. So we can let this, these waves come through a little bit. So it seems that, that they're ramming, hitting the, the bridge tower, as I show you here. By masking in this way, it seems like the the wave is on almost almost covering the 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 building, the bridge, and we're gonna be saving this brush for later use. But as you can see, some just make some sections of the of the wave appear to be overcoming the the bridge this gives us much more realistic appearance that the wave is hitting on this on this bridge on this part of the city and also since the the inner wave has uh, has some curvature to it we need to let that go through also. We need to check each wave individually because right here is the is a section where the, both waves overlap each other. And then right here you can see a little bit of brushing with this nice brush makes it look like part of the base of the of the bridge is it's being submerged in in water and also here to the left this big white section of, of water exploding on the building a little bit up on top here just some details that uh, suggest that the the wave is overcoming the the tower and of course you can let as much as you want in but you have to take in into consideration the position of the wave if you let in if you mask in too much it will be it will look bad, it will look obvious that the position of the wave doesn't relate to the building. Then just go in with a reduce the size of the brush a little bit and detail this mask a little bit more. In some parts it's it's good to have a little bit of spray. But in other sections we want we want the masking to be more more precise. This also helps with the realism of of this this effect. But as I said in the beginning, this is this is a dramatic image, but it's not that that difficult. Now we increase the size of the brush the same brush a little bit more so we can use that spray look to mask off the top of the wave and you can see the this brush brush helps us quite a bit in masking off and and uh, maintaining the the spray of the top of the wave the foam We will later come back here and use paint to finish off the, the top of the wave. But as you can see, 